Hello friends, welcome back to Joyful Half Acre. I'm Kim and we're gonna do a quick keto recipe today. This is a recent thing in our life, switching to keto, so we are learning new recipes. And I've done my menu and one day a week we're gonna have granola for breakfast. Last week I tried a recipe that was okay. <laughs> so this week we're gonna try a different recipe. This one is from a friend of mine, she gave this to me, so it's from Wholesome Yum Low Carb Granola Cereal Recipe. Let's get started. First off, it says one and a half cups almonds, and it says to put them in here and then pull some to uh, get it ground up a little bit. I actually have sliced almonds, so we will. You want some pieces, but you want some smaller too, so. That's a bunch of smaller pieces. We'll put that in our bowl. All right, then one and a half cups pecans and do the same thing with that. There, looks pretty good. One third cup sunflower seeds and one third cup pumpkin seeds that are out of the little shell. I actually had never seen them before out of the shell. I haven't bought them this way anyway. Usually they're in the little pods, so this was the first time. I didn't realize they were green. I always just see the white shelled pumpkin seeds. And those. Then to that we add a half cup of black seed. Okay, that might be a little more, but good enough. Half cup. And then stir all that together. Our nuts and seeds. In a separate pan we melt a quarter cup butter. To that we add one large egg white. Hopefully I can get this in there without getting any yolk in there. And a teaspoon of vanilla. And then, then we add our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients and stir that up. And the recipe did say you can use coconut oil if you'd like instead of butter. I've never tried granola with butter as the thing that sticks it together. I've usually used coconut oil, so I wanted to try butter in this one. And then pour it out on a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. Bake at 325 degrees for 15 to 18 minutes. And it's done cooking. Now we leave it here like this until it cools and then break it into pieces because it'll be into little bite-sized pieces. And then we'll put it in our jar and have granola for breakfast tomorrow. Quick, simple, easy recipe. I'm excited to try it. Like I say, last week's did not turn out. This one I know we've tried. We tried it from our friend's house and it was delicious, so. And it is Wholesome Yum's Low Carb Granola Cereal Recipe is where we got this from. I hope you'll all try it and let me know if you like it also. Thanks for watching today, friends. Bye.